welcome to finals day at the 31st staging of the Thomas Cup and we've got an absolute dream final. It's the number one seeds Indonesia against the defending champions China. Morton, we couldn't have asked for more. That's a great lineup, isn't it? It's a very good lineup. Of course, from my personal point of view, I would have liked to see Denmark in. <laughs> of course, sorry, I've put my foot in it already. The final will be starting really shortly, but we thought we'd have a little chat beforehand just to go through all the possible matchups. The first men's singles, Anthony Ginting, the Olympic bronze medalist, up against a surprise because Shi Uchi, the number one player from China, retired at match point down in the semi-final against Momota when they were playing against Japan. So, Lu Guangzhou has been moved up to number one. Now yeah. that, I would think, probably puts Indonesia a bit of a, a favourite there. They've played twice. Yeah. The Indonesian has won twice. The Indonesian has won twice and uh, in, in my personal opinion, I think he's looking better than his uh, Chinese opponent, uh, Lu. Um, but um, we saw yesterday anything can happen in, in team matches. So, uh, you know, who is the expert to yes. say anything? <laughs> Absolutely. But, I mean, for the Chinese fans, it is a concern that Lu Guangzhou, he wasn't even selected for the quarterfinal or no. semi final. Or the, neither of the two. No. So, so, uh, that, so that, they were concerned about his form, uh, but I'm and guessing yeah. uh, because of Xi Yu Qi, they have to play him at first. They have to move him up. They've got no, no other choices, so, so it's, it's very logical. And it looked a little bit bizarre yesterday when the Xi Yu Qi res retired at 20. So yeah. Um, yeah. We, we just have to see what's unfolding after that. Yeah. Well, after that, we will have the top-ranked men's doubles. And again, this is a bit of a surprise because mm. Alfian and Ardianto, yes. who have been playing at the second men's doubles, we think there's an injury problem with Hendra Setiawan, which yes. is why they've only played one match. But Alfian and Ardianto, they're um, Asian Games silver medalists, World Championship bronze medalists. Yeah. That's uh, still a very strong pair to have at top pair up against He Ji Ting and Zhao Haodong, who have been playing most of the matches in China's campaign. They haven't played most, uh, but they've also been very inconsistent in my book. And it's, it's really, I, I saw uh, the Indonesians play yesterday, yesterday against Denmark in the second men's doubles. They, they're looking really, really good. And at one stage, they actually also played them in the first uh, men's doubles here, when they split the, the partnerships uh, in one of the matches. So I, I think, in all honesty, I think that's the best pair they have. Yeah. So. Uh, even better than the world number ones? You mean Gideon yep. and Sukumolio? You would have uh, played Alfian and Ardianto anyway? Yes, I would have. Wow, well that's fascinating because we will come down in a <laughs> minute know. to that <laughs> second men's doubles. But first of all, the second men's singles. Jonathan Christie, Asian Games gold medalist up against Li Shi Feng, who was the gold medalist at the Youth Olympic Games. Yes. So there's no question Jonathan Christie has more experience and I thought he played really well against Anna Zantonson, but it was a long, long match. How much has that taken out of Jonathan Christie? We can only guess and we will see a little bit later. I, I think it's, it's a, a worrying situation for Jonathan Christie because an hour and 40 minutes, that's a long match. Yeah. Um, he did play really well yesterday, I think, and it's the first time in a long, long, long time that uh, Christie has actually played to, to what I expect him to be able to. He has not been performing well, at least for almost um, two years. Yeah. So, uh, so th that was a major surprise yesterday, how well he played against Anas. Yeah. And um, of course he needs to, to keep it up today, but I think the whole excitement, the adrenaline is just pumping. I, I think he will do well. So that will see him through? I, I think so, yes. yes. Well, of course, uh, in uh, the final, as with all of the knockout stage, uh, once the tie is decided, any remaining matches are not contested. So you and I are very much hoping that we will get down to the fourth match because this, to me, is the most intriguing. Kevin <laughs> Sanjaya Sukumolio yes. has been teamed up with the world junior champion, Daniel Martin. Martin. Yes. Now, this is fascinating. You and I have talked about it. What is wrong with Gideon and Sukumolio? They don't seem to be firing on all cylinders. When they're at their best, they're the most exciting, dynamic, wonderful pair to watch in world badminton. Yes. But we haven't seen that at late. So is this a glimpse we're seeing today of maybe the future? I think so, yes.
Wow. I think so. It, it, I think that uh, Indonesia needs to do something in, in the men's doubles. They have many really good ones, but the partnerships are not really uh, working out so well. They're not winning the titles they're looking for, yeah. and they have to find a winning formula. And of course, Kevin Zukamuyo is of course in that picture somewhere. Yeah. So, and we haven't seen him partner up with anyone but Gideon. Yeah. So I've just been expecting it. I've been waiting for this to happen. So uh, I'm actually not that surprised. No, I, and I, I know you and I discussed it. I think uh, it was on air yeah. about how uh, perhaps Zukamuyo with one of the young players yes. might make a very good partnership. But their opponents, Liu Cheng, former world champion in men's doubles, Wang Yi Lu, Mm -hmm. uh, Olympic mixed doubles champion. Um, they've been playing a few matches in this campaign as well. Uh, so it's an awful lot of pressure on Daniel Martin. I, I, I mean, the two Chinese players are vastly experienced. This this could be a very interesting match. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic match it's, if it's coming, yes. <laughs> as you say. Uh, however, I also have to, to say that uh, when you bring mixed doubles players into the even doubles, mm. I actually think that they are not performing that well. Whether it's the men's or the ladies, it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't think it's gelling that way, uh, that well. So I think uh, the Chinese combination could run into trouble against uh, some really good men's doubles players from from Indonesia, because then I think Wang Yulu could possibly be exposed a little bit, being a mixed doubles player and not a men's doubles player. Well. That's interesting. I'm sure we'll talk more about that <laughs> on commentary. Yes. Let's quickly talk about if we came down to that fifth and uh. final match because Rustavita uh, for Indonesia up against uh, Wang uh, Hongyang, yeah. who's a left-hander, first time they've ever met. Uh, Rustavito has twice in this t Thomas Cup campaign had to play the fifth match when it's been two all, yes. and he has delivered yeah. and I'm wondering if that experience uh, might be the deciding factor in this. I know very little about Wang Hong Yang. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know much about uh, the young Chinese player Wang anyway, just like you. Yeah. We, we have to see what, what he can produce. Uh, but I, I concur with you that uh, Ross DeVito has, has been looking really good, he's calm. Yes. He, he's tough to play, it's yeah. coming back, he's asking a lot of his opponent and uh, he's a good third singles to have and he has, as you said, delivered twice. Yes. So I, I think that's a good, good card to have. Well, as you can tell, Morton and I are really <laughs> excited about this Thomas Cup final. Indonesia, the number one seeds against the defending champions China. It's all going to happen very, very shortly. We'll be in the commentary box. Hope you can join us. Bye for now. Introducing the new Babington For You app. It's your one-stop shop for everything badminton. Receive live scores as they happen and access to real-time match center data. Plus, get all the latest Babington news in a flash. You also have top video highlights and all of it in one convenient location. Never miss your favorite player again. Personalize the app to suit you and get the badminton content that you love, including notifications when your favorite player is on court. Get regular updates on draws, calendars, and tournament information. Follow every minute of every match. Babington for you, just a touch away. Available in all app stores now. アプリをダウンロードして私たちのことを応援してください。